All right, Bruce, I understand you uh, rode the Super Tenere this morning? Absolutely. How was it? Amazing. You know, it's not a big motor, but the suspension was like soft and cushy. It's kind of a combination between, you know, like Barco Lounge or dirt bike. You know, it felt really stable, pretty decent motor, um, nice suspension, good handling, but it just felt like comfortable, you know, and, and so confident inspiring. I was just amazed. Because I wasn't sure what it was going to be. I think it was like 550 pounds, and it felt like it weighed 200 pounds. How do, uh, what, what do you think about value to the money? Oh, I think value to the money. Like $13,000 is like a bargain for the bike that you're getting out there. Great, great performance out of a bike that's, you know, not all that expensive, and it looks like it's going to do a lot of good things. I think this is going to be that... For those people who can't handle the big adventure bikes, five nine, I can get my feet on the ground. Right. And for people who can't do, you know, the big adventure bikes, it's the perfect bike to go do the on-road, off-road stuff and have a high level of confidence. Do you recommend test rides? Uh, absolutely, I'd recommend buying it because I wanted the new Multi Strata. Now I'm going for twenty-three thousand for the new Multi or thirteen for this. Hmm, tough choice. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Got it. Bye. Fun. All right, Bruce. So we just came back from. Uh, Demo ride and you rode the uh, BMW F800 GS. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. Uh, tell us about it. You know, on the way out, I just really wasn't sure what that motorcycle was about. But on the way back, I think I really began to figure it out. It's a real purpose motor, purpose-built motorcycle. Um, it doesn't do anything bad, and I think that's what really kind of was bothering me on the way out. It was just like I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's a good motorcycle or not. On the way back, I realized it's a really, really good motorcycle but it's very, very purpose-built. It's more like you took a dirt bike and you put plates on it, and you took a street bike and you gave it some off-road capability. The seat's narrow, a little bit hard. You wouldn't want to be sitting on it all day, but it's fun. The other thing I noticed is that the rake and trail on that is set up to where it really feels like a dirt bike. So when you're on a tight kind of bit of road and you toss it in, you really feel the front wheel working. That's Whereas great. on a motorcycle, on a bigger motorcycle, you don't feel it. So it feels just like a dirt bike on the road. And it's very, very nimble. Not the bike for me. I'm looking for something a little bit more comfortable, longer days. I don't think I can sit on that thing more than an hour or two. So how about round it up against the Tenere again this morning? Oh, I do. I take the Tenere. I just... I'd pay twice as much for the Tenere as this one and still be happier with it. It's a bike that you can ride. The Tenere is a bike you can ride all day long. It's much more comfortable. This bike is tall. I'm 5'9". I can't get my feet on the ground. You don't feel as comfortable or as confident. The Tenere, I felt comfortable with my feet down on the ground. Um, this bike is a little buzzy. The, that 800cc motor is working pretty hard. 5,000 RPMs at 70 miles an hour. So it doesn't like freeways. You give it a nice, tight, windy road, it loves it. You give it a, probably a fire road, it just goes crazy. It's perfect for that. But if you were going to Alaska, the Tenere absolutely would be the bike to buy. No How doubt. about you're the only one amongst our whole group who's actually ridden a Multistrada. Yeah. And not only once, but twice. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about the, the Multistrada ride? Yeah, the, the, the new Multi feels much, much more street-oriented. Now, you get four different modes in that Multi, and it just it, it makes the motor do different things, makes the suspension do different things, but it still feels like a street bike that maybe has got a little bit of off-road capability. I wouldn't ride the new Multi to Alaska. I would ride the new Tenere to Alaska. I don't think I could get to Oregon on the 800. Yeah. And I think that if you want to put it in categories, that the Multistrada, and Multistrada means many roads, it will do all kinds of things really well. I know I could just carve up that 22 miles between one and, and Leggett, and I'm not sure I could do that on the Super Tenere. I know I can ride all day long on the freeway on my Multistrada and the new one. Um, so I think it does more things very well, but I don't think it does the off-road thing well at all. I think the Super Tenere is that if that adventure bike built for real people. I've right. always wondered why adventure bikes have to give you nose bleeds because they're so tall. Right. This is an adventure bike that'll go off-road, and it doesn't feel like you're sacrificing a lot in comfort. Um, or even the flexibility to do it. So I think Yamaha finally figured out how to make an off-road uh, adventure bike for the masses. Nice. I, I think they, I think they nailed it. I really do. I, mean, I can't get on a KTM, you know, adventure bike. I'm not sure I feel comfortable on a 1200 GS because of the size and the weight. But that that bike is sort. Of, you know, when the SV 650 first came out, it was the perfect everyday ride around bike, and everybody loved it because it was just fun to be on and made you grin. That, that Super Tenere feels just like that SV650 experience. 
perfect, well-balanced, easy to ride, confidence-inspiring, whereas the other ones take a lot of commitment and maybe not as comfortable. Cool. So it, it's my choice, that's for sure. Thanks, Bruce. Got it. Have a good ride.